Have you ever wondered what happens when you reach the coldest possible temperature? Today we're diving into a remarkable journey through time, place, and knowledge, all revolving around one intriguing concept, absolute zero. This adventure is going to be both chilly and thrilling. Our story begins in the picturesque village of Dulat, Scotland. Amidst the wetlands, the Kelvin River meanders its way through the landscape, eventually flowing into the sea at Glasgow. But this river is more than just a natural wonder. It carries the name of a scientific legend. In the late 19th century, a genius set up his laboratory along the banks of the Kelvin. This was Sir William Thompson, later known as Lord Kelvin. A president of the prestigious Royal Society and a trailblazer in the world of science, his contributions are as varied as they are profound. But today we remember him primarily for the Kelvin temperature scale, named after him due to his groundbreaking work in thermodynamics and the concept of absolute zero. Absolute zero is the coldest possible temperature where all molecular motion stops. Lord Kelvin theorized this extreme state while developing the laws of thermodynamics. Reaching zero Kelvin, or minus 273.15 degrees Celsius, became the holy grail for Victorian era scientists, igniting a race reminiscent of the gold rush. Before this era, cold was thought to be a physical substance a kind of gas permeating through matter. But in 1665, Robert Boyle shattered this myth by showing that water's weight remained unchanged when it froze. This set the stage for a more scientific approach to understanding temperature. Enter the Industrial Revolution. A time when steam power was transforming the world, but the science behind heat was still a mystery. Cracking the code of heat could lead to more efficient machines and a massive economic boom. Scientists began to realize that heat was related to the movement of molecules, and thus the quest to reach absolute zero began in earnest. One of the pioneers in this quest was uh, Sir James Dewar, a Scottish scientist with a dramatic backstory. As a child, Dewar fell into an icy lake and nearly died, sparking a lifelong fascination with cold. His survival and determination led him to become a key figure in low temperature research. Driven by his admiration for Michael Faraday, who had made significant strides in cooling techniques, Dewar achieved notable successes such as liquefying oxygen and nitrogen. However, the challenge of hydrogen, which liquefies at an incredibly low minus 252 degrees Celsius, loomed large. Despite numerous setbacks, Dewar persevered, eventually becoming the first to liquefy hydrogen in 1898, reaching a temperature just 21 degrees above absolute zero. But the story doesn't end there. Enter Heike Kamerlingi Onez from the Netherlands, a scientist whose collaborative approach contrasted with Dewar's secrecy. Onez successfully liquefied helium in 1908, achieving a temperature of minus 271 degrees Celsius, just two degrees above absolute zero. His methods paved the way for further discoveries, including superconductivity. Dewar and Onis had very different approaches. Dewar was secretive, often working alone and revealing little about his methods. In contrast, Onis assembled a brilliant team and believed in open scientific communication. Despite their differences, both scientists contributed immensely to our understanding of extreme cold. Dewar was also known for his spectacular public demonstrations. He would place various objects into liquid nitrogen, smashing them to pieces to the amazement of onlookers. He even created dazzling flame displays with liquid oxygen, capturing the public's imagination and highlighting the strange and wonderful effects of extreme cold. But why is absolute zero so important? At absolute zero, molecular motion ceases, this concept led scientists to explore the fundamental nature of matter and energy. 
As temperatures drop, molecules move slower and slower, revealing new and exotic states of matter. Fast forward to today, and the quest for absolute zero continues in cutting-edge laboratories around the world. Scientists are now able to cool substances to just billionths of a degree above absolute zero, revealing phenomena like superfluidity and superconductivity. Superfluidity, discovered in liquid helium, is a state where a fluid flows without any resistance. Superconductivity, on the other hand, is a phenomenon where certain materials can conduct electricity without any resistance when cooled to extremely low temperatures. These discoveries have profound implications for technology, from MRI machines to quantum computers. NASA's Cold Atom Laboratory, aboard the International Space Station, is pushing the boundaries even further. By creating the coldest spot in the known universe, scientists are hoping to unlock new insights into quantum mechanics and the fundamental laws of physics. While some believe that absolute zero is ultimately unattainable, the pursuit has already yielded incredible insights and innovations. It's a testament to the relentless human spirit of discovery. Science, after all, is about the journey as much as the destination. So, the next time you hear about a scientific breakthrough in cooling techniques or quantum mechanics, remember the legacy of Lord Kelvin, James Dewar, and Heike Kammerling Onnes. They paved the way for our modern understanding of the coldest realms of the universe. And who knows? Maybe someday we'll get even closer to reaching that elusive absolute zero. Keep watching Space Pioneers for more exciting journeys into the unknown. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.